Hi, and welcome to day 1000 of quarantine, or at least it feels like that. Today I'd like to reach out to those of you who are feeling like you're going a bit stir crazy, but also emotionally exhausted at the same time. You know, quarantine is an unnatural state for human beings, and the reason we're feeling so much discomfort is because our survival mechanisms are kicking in on overdrive. Human beings have always survived by being together in clans, and so this is just not something that we're able to deal with for very long periods of time. And in fact, our lives may depend on it because studies find that there is a much higher mortality rate for people who have weaker social connections than those who don't. And in particular, extroverts may be having a tough time right now, struggling with restlessness and even feelings of despair. People think the differences between introverts and extroverts has to do with being with people. One likes to be with people and the others don't. But in fact, that's not the true difference. The main difference has to do with where they get their source of energy from and how much stimulation they need. We know that extroverts get their energy from external stimulation. People, things, they tend to thrive on activity versus introverts who can get a lot of that from within. So right now, extroverts are just not getting the stimulation they need. They're not getting that hit to the brain from the neurotransmitter dopamine, which makes us feel good. So here are some ways that extroverts in particular can try and get some of that stimulation that they're sorely lacking. First of all, be really aware of what kind of stimulation makes you feel your best. We know that extroverts tend to really thrive on novelty and newness and goal accomplishment. So this might be a good time to try and put any of those things in play. So learn something new, a new game, a new hobby, a new recipe, take a new path on your daily walk every day. All those hits of novelty will go really far in stimulating that dopamine release that we need. The second thing is to think about times that you have engaged in more reflective practices that you really liked. Maybe it was prayer, maybe it was meditation, uh, maybe it was a particular book you read, and think about what it was that made that feel good for you and see if you can replicate that right now in our current situation. A third thing is to make sure that you're taking good care of yourself. Hygiene is important. Make sure you're getting up and getting dressed every day. Don't let yourself go because that affects absolutely everything else. And then the fourth thing is to make sure you connect with people every day, numerous times a day if you need that. And don't just text them, call them, or better yet, engage in virtual kinds of um, platforms or calls. And then if you can, add an activity on top of that. So if you can connect with a few people and play a game, uh, an online game, a crossword, or words with friends, or something along those lines. Or you can make arrangements to meet people um, somewhere where you can all stay in your cars and have a happy hour together. Just make sure you maximize your ways of connection and you have to do it absolutely every day. But the most important thing to remember about all of this is that you have reserves that you're not even aware of and you will probably do better than this time than you think. That's it for today. Tomorrow I'll be back to talk about how introverts can get through this time.